Christ. And, and I just start, start from a very simple principle that when we're all having to make sacrifices, and we've heard many of them here already today, you, you, ask, you ask people at the top and then you work down. You don't ask, you don't ask people at the bottom and then work, work up. I, d I have to tell you, though, I think it's unrealistic to assume that you can't make any more savings from wealth. Of course not, because we spend what it is, about £700 billion of your money in public spending every year, and about a third of that, well, 200, just, over, just over 200 billion, is in welfare. So the idea that you can't make any changes, but I'm not, I'm not uh, it hasn't been agreed with in government, and I certainly, I don't agree with this idea that you just pluck a, pluck a 10 billion figure out of the sky and say, that's what we're going to do, without, without asking how you can do that more fairly. On the housing benefit thing, look, uh, a complete blanket ban on providing housing benefit to anyone who so happens to have been born 25 years ago or less, of course not, because there are, you know, there are, there are people who've, who've got kids, who've suffered abuse, who've suffered terrible trauma in their families. Of course, as a compassionate society, you've got to, you've got to support them. Conversely, do I think, though, that there might be some under 25-year-olds who maybe don't need um, all, all the support they get in the same way that under 25-year-olds who aren't on housing benefit have to make their it's way... It's the end to the automatic right well, of... I, I just, I'm just what I'm saying, is, you, you know, John asked me a sort of flat sort of question, do I agree with a blanket ban, prohibition on any housing benefit, or anyone who happens to be below, below 25? No. Uh, no. Do I think, though, we need to look for further savings in welfare? Yes, unambiguously, yes. And by the way, the thing that guides me when you reform welfare is a very, very simple, old-fashioned idea, which is that welfare should be there to help people who need help, but it shouldn't be a way of life, and we should make sure that work always pays, and it always pays to work rather than receive benefits.